I'm sad, I'll draw a picture. If I'm upset, I'll draw a picture. I mean, those things don't happen very often. I'm pretty damn happy all the time. But uh, it's, yeah, I'm draw any, any time of the day, I'll doodle, I'll draw, I'm coming up with ideas. There's no, absolutely no motivation necessary. It's, some days I'm more, I feel more creative or I've got better ideas than other days. But usually the days that I don't have the best ideas, they morph into something else that I can use later. Um, it's just fun. It's, it's, it's natural, it's fun to do, it keeps me busy, I'm never bored. I get to hang out with a lot of cool people and meet a lot of cool people doing artwork. And that's actually probably one of the biggest motivations is seeing other people's styles work, how hard they work, and uh, catching up to them and seeing what other cool stuff you can do with it. The Vancouver scene's fun. Um, there's definitely a lot of artists here. Um, I'm born and raised, um, grew up in East Vancouver, so um, I've been around Vancouver and been around the art scene. There's, there's still so much about the art scene that I don't know in Vancouver because there's so many people. There's so many different groups, um, shows, galleries, groups of friends that do random things. And um, I've recently just been meeting new artists still and um, get involved in new shows. Um, I think there needs to be more support with gallery-wise and um, a lot of things, but really it's, it's kind of up to us to make that happen. Um, and I think it's awesome here. It's a really creative city. I know almost exactly when it started being like creative and artistic for me is that grade three, when you do that project, what do you want to be when you grow up? There was a lot of doctors, astronauts, and veterinarians in my class, and uh, I showed up to class with those little berets on, the painter's palette and a smock, and I want to be an artist. And I was always encouraged as a kid. I got to draw on my bedroom walls. I had a six-foot Spider-Man drawn on my wall, as well as Spawn, Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, anything I could do really, my parents let me do it. I was never discouraged with my artwork. I was probably discouraged a little in school for drawing all over my notebooks, but <laughs> I knew I was going to be an artist. Um, it got more and more specific every year what I wanted to do, but I'm always exploring new things. Um, and it's something I'm always learning. It's gonna, I'm going to be learning how to make art and be creative for the rest of my life. Uh, I'm Colin Moore. I'm an artist and I like to draw stuff. <laughs> so I got one piece of advice for any parent out there is actually let your kid draw on their walls. <laughs> if it's really bad, you can paint over it. And most likely it will be bad. I don't think my drawings at eight years old were really good on the walls, but just let them draw on the walls. It's fun. Don't let them use Sharpies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no Sharpies. <laughs>